Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today we implement a full adder using multiplexer. Now this truth table you're already familiar with. This is the truth table for the full adder, all right? So today our topic is a one bit uh, full adder. And using what? Using multiplexer, all right? Using max. Okay. Now you know this truth table. We have a sum, we have a carry. So in this case, we have two outputs. In the previous video that videos that we saw, we had only single output, so we had a single multiplexer. In this case, we have two outputs. We have a sum, we have a carry, which means we need two multiplexers in this case. And we have three inputs, so which means to the power three is 16. So we need to have a 16 cells K map, all right? So first, let's say we go for the sum K map for sum, let's say first. So, uh, so it has to be 16 cell like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Sorry, sorry, two to the power three is eight. You're not telling me this, 2 to the power 3 is 8, okay? So we have an A over here and we have a B, C. So this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and a 0, 1, and 0, 1, okay? All right. Now you fill them up like this. So this is 0, then 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1. Now this is a check boat configuration, all right? Now what do you do? You check for the, uh, uh, the, the uh, first you have assigned the select lines. So let's say we draw a four cross one multiplexer like this. Okay, uh, we have the output Y. This is let's say a four cross one we are using. One, two, three and four which is I0, I1, I2, and I3, and the select lines S1 and S0. Now you have to select your select lines first out of these three, all right? So if you select your select lines as B and C, it would be more simple. So you do that uh, in your homework. I don't take the simplest case. These are all simple, but I take the simpler case. The simplest case for you is the homework. You check for B, C, all right? You take your select lines as B and C. I take them as A and B. All right, let's say I take the S1 as A and S0 as B. All right, so now I'll checking. I'll be checking in, in these cases, all right? So we have, we have the combinations for A, B like this, A, B. We have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, okay? In, for this case, I0 would be selected. For this, I1, for this, I2, and for this, I3, all right? So now if you have a 0, 0, A0 zero and B0, zero, so we have these two rows. Uh, so this single row, but these two blocks, all right? These two blocks. We have A0 and we have B0 in this case. So for this, we have only this one. All right, and this represents what? It represents a, a C only, because it, it basically represents a B complement C, but the B is what? It is already in the select lines, and A is also in the select line, so what remains, you need to only consider that. So in this case, only C remains, and this is a high, so over here, I0 is equal to a C, okay? Now let's say we have we use colors for it, uh, for these representations so that it is more clear, okay? And how is that? Now let's say for the next combination, which is a 0, 1, I'm using this green color. So when A is 0 and B is 1, so we have these two blocks, 0 and 1. So which means only this one is a one. Out of this, this is B is already the select line, A is the select line, so we have a C complement remain. All right? 
then we have a one zero. So this red color, let's say, represents the one zero. Uh, now what do you do? A is a one and B is a zero. So which means you have these two blocks out of which this is a one we are dealing with. So this is a C complement again. All right. And finally, the last case when both of them are one, which means A is one and B is one. So we have these two blocks remaining in which we have a C. C high. All right. So we have a C, C complement and C for this case. And this C is what? This is basically the C input, right? And you know that very well. So this is the C input, so I, I can write an I for this. All right, let's say we have, uh, no, not another example, for the, for the carry now, for the carry, uh, okay, for carry. So again, you have the eight cells map, like this, okay, and you have your A, B, and C, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and you have your 0, 1. Again, you will need another 4 cross 1 multiplexer, 4 cross 1, which have 4 inputs. All right, I0, I1, I2, and I3, and two select lines, S1 and S0, and the final output in this case would be carry. In this case, the Y is equal to the sum, all right? Now for carry again, let's say, we, let's say I have the same select line A and B, okay? Now again, on different combinations, I see for Y and A and B, okay? So first we have I0, then I1, I2, and I3. And I'll be using again color. So let's say the blue color first for A and B0. So fill this up first, okay? You have a triple zero one, then you have a zero one, and then a one one. So now if A is zero and B is zero, in this case, in this case, you have these two columns, uh, these two blocks where we don't have a one. So which means this function is a zero over here. So I naught would be zero. All right. Now let's say when A is zero and B is one, so we have these two blocks when A is zero and B is one. So this is the case where we have a high and that is for C because C is one, okay? <coughs> C input, right? <coughs> Sorry. Okay, C input. For the next case, when you have uh, A one and B zero, so that's this particular case, where there we have a one, and this represents a C input again. Why? Right, because it's high. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, uh, he got mistaken. All right. And the final case is this, where we have a 1, 1. And out of this, when A is 1 and B is 1, so this is the case in which we have these two ones, and I can group them together. And over here we have what? We have a C. Uh or with a C complement, all right? We have these two, so we have a C input or with a C complement, which is one, all right? So I can write this as one. And how did I write this as a one? Because C input or with a C inputs complement, so this is one. So now this is the final multiplexer for what? For the carry, all right? So you use these two multiplexers. One is for the sum and one is for the carry. You operate them through these inputs, through the select lines, it gives you the carry. This one will give you the sum. All right, so that's all about today's lecture. One bit full, up, full adder using multiplexer. All right, see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.